What's good, y'all, man? So today we're gonna be looking at and seeing if Josh Allen's new card is really better than Mr. Dante Culpepper, right? We all got Culpepper for the most part, right? So you know, let, let's just take a look and see. Is Josh? We're gonna compare them, look and see is Josh Allen better than them, and maybe look at some of the, the other new cards too. But I want to see it like. Is it worth for me selling Cole Pepper? Like, should I sell? Like, should I get Josh Allen? Which I don't think I will. No matter what, I don't care if he is better than him. It's just what it is. But let me see. So Allen is what 92? 92. Mr. Buffalo. 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 Boom. 300. Yeah. There's no way I'm getting him regardless. I'm not. I'm not paying for that. All right. Let's compare. Let's see who is better, Cole Pepper versus Josh Allen. So speed-wise, without a theme team, right? Allen powered up. They're the same speed, 88 speed. Throw power. Okay, so Josh Allen, 99 throw power. He can hit 99 throw power. Cole Pepper's got 98. He's got 98 for me. All right, they're actually short, medium, deep. That means nothing. All right, throw under pressure. Cole Pepper got 90. Plus, go deep chemistry. So, I mean, Allen, Allen would hit. He would get 90 throwing under pressure. So, I mean, he'd probably be fine, right? Throwing the run, play action. Okay, so what I've determined from this is the only difference between Josh Allen and Cole Pepper is Josh Allen gets 99 throw power. That's really it. I mean, he had a, yeah, had Cole Pepper's throwing under pressure is a lot better, but I mean. Like I said, I'm getting snotty and he should be fine. So, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, I guess you, you got a Bill Steam team. If you got cold peppers, unless you really want that 99 throw power, I don't, I think that's a waste. 340, let me see cold peppers price. Is cold pepper uh, dropped? Let's see Mr. Cold Pepper. Did his price drop? Cold peppers price dropped. Oh my god, y'all are crazy, bro. Oh my god. I'm still rocking with cold pepper, bro. I, <laughs> come on, man. Y'all bugging. I want to see that new uh, Tua, though. Let's see Mr. Tua. He, Tua's probably what? Ever riser? Let's look at Mr. Tua. Was he 85? Let's see Mr. Tua. Tua Tagalova. Oh, maybe he's not. Oh, no, he is. Tua Tagalova. Let's see this Tua card, right? Field General. Okay. They gave Tua the Field General? I don't know about that one. I thought for sure he would have been Improviser. Uh, I don't I don't like that because the Dolphins already have Dan Marino. That was kind of dumb, but... Alright, so speed. Uh, so... He doesn't have a power-up, so you're looking at 86... Theme team 88, right? Throw power, you get that to 91. It actually doesn't look terrible. And he's field done or something. He gets Sefi lead. So it was actually not that bad for the Miami theme team, even though they have Dan Marino. But I don't really understand why he is a field general when he literally. I he, I thought for sure to improvise. Because I, I, I've been looking at cards lately, right? And let me tell you something. Improvisers might be the look at the end of the year, right? They might be the look. Well, especially for my Eagles theme team. Because right now we got Vic Cunningham. Wentz is improviser, but he would never touch the field for me, right? Because I always talked about how scramblers would suck at the end of the year. They're actually not. I didn't know that scramblers also got a gunslinger, right? So Mr. Vic, right? Gunslinger. Uh, yeah, you know, gunslinger. Fearless, right? Like, I ain't gonna lie. Cunningham or Victor might be who I'm rocking with at the end of the year. Gunslinger and Fearless, bro, that's raps. Oh, that's raps. I'm rocking with that for sure. I can't lie to you, so. I mean, but the, the, really the good thing about his Madden is, like, you, you can really rock with any quarterback. You don't have to rock with an improviser at the end of the year. You could you could rock with the field general. You could rock with the, you could do anything you want, which is, that's kind of cool about this Madden. It still sucks, but that's just kind of cool. Um. So I might be, I'm probably going to use Vicar Cunningham at the end of the year. Whatever, whatever eagle we got, but yeah. Um, who else did they add today? Let's look at some other people. Yo, is it the Von, 
Yo, if I'm not mistaken, isn't Devontae Adams like, this is like his third upgrade hall. Let me see his power up. Let me see if we can pick up his power up. I want to see if we can look at his card. Let's see if we can look at Mr. Devontae, bro. Because I ain't gonna lie, this is like his fucking, bro. I'm selling this shit right after, but. Bro, if Devontae Adams is decent, bro, I might pick him up because he's a route runner. And I can't lie to you, bro. Like, this is like his fourth. Bro, this might be like his fourth, fifth upgrade, dog. <laughs> this man's begin so many upgrades. Let me see. Let's see. What does he go up to now? So Devontae goes up to a 92 now. What's that speed looking like? What's plus 7 from uh, 77, 81 now? Is that 89? Yeah, that's 89. That's garbage. Uh, that's garbage. So on the Dean team, he's like, what, 90? Yo, why the fuck? Bro, why do they always give Julio and Devontae Adams the worst cards imagine? Like, Julio's card isn't terrible, you know what I mean? But it's not It's not top tier. I don't want that shit on my team, right? And Devontae Adams, they just give him a... Like, it's like, come on, bro. Like, they be bugging, dog. <laughs> they really be bugging. All right, I'm about to sell this shit now. Oh, uh, but yeah, so basically my thoughts. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, my thoughts on Josh Allen and Cole Pepper. If you have Cole Pepper, I would say keep him. I say keep Cole Pepper. There's really no point in getting Josh Allen. I, I, I mean, the cards. Look, I'm not saying the cards bad, but it's like if you already have Cole Pepper, it's like you're gonna lose coins getting him. All right, that's kind of a dead mission, like. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. See y'all tonight, boys. See y'all tonight for the stream. Uh, we're going to be switching up a little bit tonight, don't know if it's, I'm going to let you know now. Mr. Michael Vick is going to be seeing some time on the field, right? I've been talking about the red zone's been a little bit of a struggle. So I decided, you know what? Vick's going to be the red zone quarterback. Once we get to about probably like the 15 or 10, Vick is coming in the game. So. See you all tonight, man. Ding!